Hi everyone, I'm Nikki Klosser and I've been a photographer for over 10 years. Something I've learned over the last decade is that it is important to work smarter, not harder. While I love what I do so much, I would rather spend less time doing the mundane, routine things that we have to do as photographers and more time being creative and having fun and spending time with my family. Filter Pixel is a program, it's an AI program, and what it does is it calls for you. Okay, so I wanna take you through the whole workflow as to how this works. As an AI program, what it does is it learns your preferences. So the more you use it, the more accurate it is with your calling preferences. So what you do is you start by creating a new project, and then you're gonna go in and you're going to find the folder that you want to import. So Angelina is our senior photo that I'm gonna bring in, and the photo folder here is raw. So I'm just gonna import that, and I'm gonna rename it Angelina. Now you'll see here, you can choose if it's a portrait shoot, and that's usually just for a single person portrait or weddings, families, and events. So the AI system is going to choose things differently depending on which you choose. So since this is one person, I'm gonna pick portraits. All right, so you'll see up here where it's calculating. It is currently importing and what it's doing, it's called a first pass. It's a first pass of calling basically. So all of the photos that have major issues, it's tagging currently as rejects. And this just takes a minute or two. Now, if you have a thousand photos or more, so a thousand photos, it takes five to six minutes-ish in order to get through everything that is tagged as a reject. So that's just something to, to take note of. So once I hit auto select, it is going to choose the photos that it believes out of the series of each photo. So if there are two photos that are the same, if there's five photos that are the same, or at least very, very similar, it's gonna go through during this auto select process and choose which one it believes you think is the best photo. So if like, for example, this one, you'll see numbers here, like this says plus four, plus one, plus one. So this means there are two other similar photos. And if you click on that number, it's gonna bring those photos up and you'll see at the bottom, it accepted and then it did not accept these two because they're still considered untagged. Here, to me, this, this is accepted the one that I would have. So you see it says accepted here. And then there's a little arrow up here that you can click back to get out of this. See how it has the white border around it? That's how you know it's selected. If you hit comparison mode, which is C, what it's gonna do is it's gonna show you the face. Now, obviously we don't want this one because the eyes are closed, but this is one out of four of similar photos. So we're gonna to go to the next one and you can compare faces. And go to the next one. I mean, they're all really similar. If I wanted to narrow it down even more, there are these options down here. So you can adjust the eye quality so you can tell it that you want it to just automatically remove some that do not have really great eye quality. So if I were to go this far up, now I'm down to only 21 photos based on eye quality. So there's just different ways that you can narrow down even more. The more, the, the further up I go, the more it's gonna take down. So I was at, or the more it's gonna get rid of. So I was at 54, now I'm at 49. Then you go over to the top right and you hit export. And there's a couple options here. You can export light, right to Lightroom, which I tend to do that. You could also do to a local folder or to a CSV. I do Lightroom because it's quicker. <laughs> All right, so because I'm choosing Lightroom, you'll see here there's accepted, rejected, and, and unlabeled. I'm only choosing to import the accepted 53 images into my Lightroom catalog. I create personally a new catalog for each shoot. That's my personal preference. So I've already created, I have Lightroom open. I've created a new catalog for Angelina's shoot, and I'm gonna hit export photos. It is going to open up the the catalog that I already had open, which is the one for Angelina, and you'll see out of all of the images, it's only going to import the ones that I accepted. And then you go ahead and import and you're good to go.